from New York City. I'm Nadia New York Beatu. This is The Rundown. People and places on the run. This is going to be a special series dedicated to New Yorkers. People who've become New Yorkers and the places that they have made me love New York City more than ever. So, starting off with Cardi B. Let's go. Cardi B, just a regular, regular, schmegular girl from the Bronx as she likes to describe herself. Uh, she has a way with words and you could have dismissed her as just a social media star, well stripper turned social media star turned reality TV darling, uh, but then she went and made history. And then you just couldn't uh, dismiss her anymore. Last year Cardi B made history as the first female rapper since Lauren Hill in 1998 to top the Billboard 100 chart and that was unassisted. <laughs> These people are always hooting, I always think they're hooting at me. Before she was Cardi B with that hit single Bodak Yellow, she was Balkalee's Almanzar. She used to work here at the Amish market. <laughs> It's going to be 46 floor. Yes. All right. In two years, it's going to be done. Hey, and you know anything about this place? This is the Amish market. I know. It was established in 1991. Yes. We have the best brick oven. Oh, do you work here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cardi B used to work here. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, let me tell you. Um, she worked here, right? Yes. She, 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 uh, she's Cardi B. And then my boss, he's the one that told her to go over there. Yeah. To this dripping yeah, 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 yeah. No, because she was Where's the boss? Money. That guy over yeah, there? Right. Mike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he says you told Cardi B to go to the strip club. Yes. Well, I hired her. You Google Cardi B Amish Market, you'll see her in the store. Th that's why I came here. I'm running to places that make up Cardi B's New York. Oh, really? Yeah. Google Amish Market? Was, was she always like this? Where she makes up words? Yes. She was, she was a Bella. Bella, okay. And she, and she used to come to work. Yeah. And she used to live in Washington Heights. And she used to go back and forth and work really hard. I love her. And I looked at her. I said, Bella, with that booty, <laughs> you, gotta, you should be working across the street. So that's the yeah. around the corner. That's the strip club around the corner. All right. That's too. the next stop. Yeah. That's where I'm going. And here. that's where she made her thing. Yo, to, to anybody that's watching this video, don't forget the Amish market. We got the best brick oven pizza. <laughs> Pizza downtown Manhattan. <laughs> I love it. So the Amish market. I'm gonna go now to the, the next stop. Brick place number two. She was working there as a full-time cashier before she went into stripping at the age of 19. Around the corner here to the next location. New York Dolls Gentlemen's Club. This is where she came to work on the advice of Mike, as he told us. Cardi B has been very vocal about how much money she made working as a stripper versus working as a full-time cashier. And uh, it's where she built up her audience, her social media following, and then that gave her the clout to go onto uh, the TV show Love and Hip Hop, where she just found more fans. The borough of Manhattan Community College, this is where uh, Bella, Cardi B came and studied art, uh, sorry, studied history and French uh, before she left, dropped out, didn't uh, carry on because she was finding it hard to juggle things. Well, you know, look what happened, so not necessarily a bad thing. Well, but stay in school if you're a kid. <laughs> Cardi vowed to leave the strip club by the age of 25. She actually did it at 23. Along the way, she started making music cheap as weave over Lady Lesh's uh, Queen's Speech 4 track with Popcorn and then of course Bodak Yellow her take on Kodak Black's uh, Lockin. <laughs> now we just wait for her debut album. And no route about Cardi B would be complete without a stop at Jenny Spa. This is her her longtime nail artiste. Jenny Boy from Cambodia has been doing nails for 21 years. She has two locations here in the Bronx and in Harlem as well. 
She's been doing Cardi B's nails for five years and if you've ever uh, watched any of her videos or seen any of her Instagram posts, you all know that Jenny is definitely an artist. I love that she has her Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram handles. Jenny Boy has about 500,000 followers on Instagram on both of her accounts and I guess you have to go in and make an appointment. I unfortunately don't have my time. I don't have time to get my nails done. Cardi B is a girl from the Bronx, but she uh, lives in Edgewater at the moment. She grew up in the Heights with her grandmother. I just love how she doesn't care about what other people think and she is just so unabashedly her. Uh, and I love emulating that uh, when running, I guess. So I'll see you next week for the rundown. Please do subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Let's actually go in. money <laughs> hmm.